Ash trees have been an iconic part of Britain's landscapes for centuries, but a disease threatens to decimate 80% of these magnificent trees. The question is, can biochar offer a glimmer of hope? The ash trees make up 16% of our woodland population of trees in Cornwall. So if we're looking at losing 90% of that, that's going to have a huge impact. I mean, there's areas here on the headland uh, just behind us, and it's almost purely ash. So actually we're looking at losing whole blocks of woodland potentially. Ash is a very common tree. It's a major component of our deciduous woodlands and our woodlands here, at least in the part that we walk around today, are mature. So, and veteran trees, and if we have to cut down a range of those or they fall down naturally, we're going to have depleted woodlands with depleted habitats. And that's not a good thing at a time of a climate crisis where we need to sequester carbon and a biodiversity crisis where we need habitats and corridors and other places where we can grow up new species. There's potentially 60,000 ash trees in Plymouth. So if we're looking at losing under 90% of those, that's going to be huge. And um, this is the first thing I've heard about. Where there's potentially some way of slowing it down or reversing it. So that could be, you know, it could be a massive thing for us. How did we get into this mess? Imports of ash trees from Asia brought with them a pathogenic fungus that feeds off the ash tree. In Asia, the ash trees are adapted to live alongside this fungus, but European ash trees are dying in droves as they do not have any natural resistance to this disease. A lot of trees will die, but some trees will survive. We're finding that trees in healthy ecosystems are better equipped at fighting off this disease. If we can improve the growing conditions for these ash trees, we could give them a helping hand in surviving this disease. The clock is ticking. 80% of our ash trees are set to die within the next five to 10 years. Millions are being cut down every year and millions more are slowly dying across our country. It falls upon us to act on this whilst we still have a chance. We've seen this working on a small scale and we only have a few more years to act before 80% of our ash trees are lost. We've got a chance here to make a real tangible change. So, here's my final ask. If you can, sponsor a tree, or 10, or 100, the more the better. Got ash trees in your area? Submit them for treatment. We'll include them in our project. And if you can't donate, don't worry. You can still make a massive impact by sharing this message. Tweet it, post it, chat over the fence about it. Together we can turn the tide against ash dieback and take another step forward in our broader fight against climate change. Click that link, make a pledge, and let's get to work. The trees can't wait and neither can we.